Hey guys, what's up? Um, so there has been a lot of, well, I already mentioned this in before in my last video, but a, a lot of toxicity, but more on the 343 needs to be fired side, right? Well, recently, one of the managers, the head manager, Bonnie Ross, actually left 343 Industries. Now, the reasons why she left is due to family health issues, and um, my my uh, deepest sympathies towards her on that. But a lot of people are saying that no, oh, she's left. Halo Infinite might be saved and stuff like that. And while yes, this this may be the case, um, I don't see a lot of people being like uh, very sympathetic as well towards the ham family health crisis. Um, I still believe, yeah, she definitely should have been fired. Um, but uh, under these circumstances, it's a little bit different. I still think uh, she should have left 343, what she did, and we'll be getting a new manager working on everything with Halo Infinite and Halo in general. But uh, I want to I want to actually discuss this this morning because this was kind of a shock. So I don't really have any new clips or anything to show off because I'm working on my Century Age of Ashes video. But uh, I just want to take time to talk about this and uh, my thoughts about it and what's going to be going on in the future of Halo potentially. So like I mentioned, Bonnie Ross was fired or left, I believe she just left. And uh, now a bunch of people are saying Halo Infinite might be saved, uh, which might be the case, which could be the case, but uh, we'll, it'll take a few months before this is really determined, overall determined, maybe even a year before this is determined if it's saved or not, uh, considering the slip space engine and how screwy the management was beforehand but uh, I, I personally think that this could be potentially good uh, again I do have sympathies towards her and her her family's health issues but uh, going forward with Halo I think this is a right call I don't think taking care of Halo was her calling per se um, I do want to discuss about the current player down drop. Now with this news, I'm not going to doubt that it's going to get back up again because nowadays if you get even a little bit of news, uh, some uh, like players will come back and stuff like that even though it's like there's going to be no change and then they'll blame it on uh, the developers and the managers even though we that they've even said this would probably take a few months of change if uh, to uh, actually see the effects. Um, I am really hopeful that it changes the way things have been with three four three and uh, their management skills of this of the Halo series. Though I will admit, MCC is looking really good right now. So I would advise as many people to start playing MCC as possible because there's a lot to it. And even Halo 5, I would go advise playing Halo 5 because, I mean, even though it's, you know, th was considered the worst Halo game, um, Halo 5 has a really good Forge now. It's Now, obviously, the Forge was out two months after the initial release of the game, but the Forge is really good. And uh, if, we, if we have anything, any knowledge of Halo Infinite's Forge currently, we're going to need the practice if we really want to make decent maps on Halo, uh, Halo's Forge, Halo Infinite's Forge, because my god, it's like, it's massive. It is like the pinnacle of forging. And I really, I really want you guys to be able to play Forge and, with experience level, with experience bar, and go in and not be hyper confused about it. 
Halo, uh, Halo 5's Forge is really well done. I would definitely advise to go play it and try it out for yourself. Um, but yeah, so other things to talk about with this. Um, <laughs> while 343 hasn't had the best track record, um, people seem to constantly forget about Halo Wars 2, and I would like to bring back the thought of Halo Wars 2 back to, you know, the public eye, essentially. Because, I mean, that was one of their best Halo games. So, and a lot of people liked it that played it, but unfortunately, everybody seems to forget it, even those who have played it. And I don't know why. It's a really good RTS, um has great characters, great campaign. It's just a blast all around. I would advise as many players to play it as possible. Now, I, I'm i going to try to start posting weekly or bi-weekly for videos as well. I do want to mention this. So, be on the lookout. I'm trying to get into the groove of the YouTubing, but uh, it's, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, considering certain circumstances around here, but, uh, yeah, so, my other thoughts on the issue, well, not the issue currently, but the, uh, situation with 343 Industries, currently, I think they are trying their best, it's just that the management uh, was screwing them over, I think, definitely, the MCC team should be pulled over, from MCC and to start working on Infinite because MCC is great, right? But we have a lot of stuff in MCC already. So we got to start pumping out content for Halo Infinite. And this is something I noticed with my friend, right? Um, so basically he's saying Halo MCC isn't that great and the, because uh, there's nothing left to do. Now, that's not necessarily the case. I think the problem he's having is more of the fact that there's nothing in recent Halo, in current Halo Infinite. So, they keep updating and updating MCC, but MCC is no longer the face of Halo. It's Halo Infinite, right? So... No new players are getting into MCC because Halo Infinite is the game that they're like, oh, okay, this is the new game, we gotta get into it, you know? So they really need to start pumping out that content and uh, hopefully they'll, they'll learn and f fix their mistakes. And it's not, it's not the developer's fault, right? It's, I've said this multiple times, it's the manager's fault. Uh, and we need to make sure that we blame the right people instead of just blaming yip yap and yap yap. But, um, currently the yapping is happening, uh, so go check that out on Halo Infinite. Um, I hope you guys have a great day, and, uh, check and uh, see if I post my video on Friday or not, um, uh, this video might put a little hole in that, but, you know, it probably won't. Uh, have a nice day, guys.